What is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel. So today we're going to do a quick video on a GPU that is back from the dead. Awesome is here, right? Um, so those of you guys that are familiar, I actually sent three cards away to get repaired. Um, we had an MSI 584 gig card. We had one of my Sapphire Nitro RX 470s. 4 gig and then finally this guy so this is the only one that survived the other two um, were kind of uh, too far gone you could say um, we talked about the MSI uh, a 4 gig card that actually had multiple people work on it is what the individual had told me there were a lot of parts that were replaced on it um, so I actually donated that to the individual that uh, repaired these cards uh, then the second card which was my 470 uh, it looked like that it was run too hot. So uh, based off of my conversation with the individual that repaired it for me or tried to repair it, um, he said that uh, a lot of the capacitors were were um, bubbled and it just was beyond repair at this point right now, which was fine. I donated that to him too. And then this card, he actually was able to go ahead and get up and running. He had to replace a few parts on it. But that's the thing, like you guys have to remember to fix uh, and to fix a card at a board level, you need parts. And the only way you're getting parts is if you have spare parts. So I donated my MSI uh, 584 gig card and my Radio, or my Sapphire Nitro RX 470 to the individual as kind of a thank you and please use these parts in the future if you have any cards you have to fix. And he was able to fix this one. So this is the Sapphire Pulse RX 580 8 gig card. So let's go ahead and open this sucker up. Talk about some bubble wrap here. Holy moly, this guy, man. You can tell he's a miner when he wraps things this well. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Look at this. Holy cow. It's like a little present inside. It just, it keeps going. This is ridiculous. I've gotten cards where like, there's not, there's like one sheet of bubble wrap on it. This thing is ridiculous. It's still, it's still wrapped. Oh my gosh. Heck yeah. And look, it even is in an anti-static bag. Awesome. Awesome. I'm excited. I'm excited. This card, I was so excited to get fixed. All right, so here we go. Here's what we got, guys. So um, this is the RX. 580 8 gig sapphire pulse this card i bought for 150 dollars broken uh from a guy up in new york and uh it is working again fully functional so we'll be able to go ahead and mine some ethereum on this um so what we're gonna do is i've decided i think i might try to move all of my amd cards up into this rig because having the multiple flight sheets and stuff like that down here with NVIDIA and AMD, it's just, it's starting to become a nightmare. So I might do AMD and NVIDIA, but I need to see. Right now I have 12 cards in here, so I need to see if I can fit three more AMD. Uh, I'm running the uh, B250 motherboard, and it really does not like when you start to tap into the C slots uh, at all. It really prefers you to have the P-series cards on it. So let me go ahead, shut everything down, see if I can get these other cards working in the 250. If not, we'll make do down here. But by the time we come back, we'll have all the cards up back up in mining. So I'll be right back. Okay, so everything always turns into a project. <laughs> so I ripped out the fans in the front as, as I believe it or not, these actually started to trap heat. Um, and I've learned this back when I did my cooling video. I just haven't had an opportunity to go ahead and pull these out. I will be reinstalling them. Um, I also need to go ahead and grab another HP power supply and uh, I'll show you what I got going on. So we ended up putting our new Sapphire Pulse RX 580 right here in the middle. We have this kind of land of in between here. Um, so I put it here and then what I did was, you guys have seen the videos previously if you follow the channel where each of these is 120 watts on 240 volt. If you're not on 240 volt, they're actually down to 900. Well. They're on 240 volt now, so they're 120, so I guess it's two, four, or 2400, 2400 volts, or watts. So we have lots of, uh, you know, enough to cover. We have 12 cards right here. 
And then I just went ahead and this card, uh, I grabbed this guy, which I previously had up here, which this is a 750 watt. So uh, it's an older edition of that HP one, but I was like, perfect, I can put that here and then I can reach all my cards that I wanna add in here. So I did add this card um, into our B250. So right now we are running 13 AMD cards on the B250. Um, and uh, then outside of that, I did power down this rig down here. This is the, um, uh, right now it's a five GPU rig. Look at that terrible, it's like a rat's nest right there. Oh my goodness. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and jump over to Hive OS and take a look at what this guy's doing. Alrighty, so we are in Hive OS right now. You guys can see that there's a total of 13 cards. I always love how like you add a card and it just like pushes all of the overclock settings, bumps it all down. Um, so I did have to go ahead and clear the overclock settings here and I did stop the miner. Uh, so that is not currently in place right now. So we have been mining Ravencoin from GPU one down through 12. So we have a bunch of 470s and a 570 in there. Dude, if anyone watches this from, from HiveOS, you guys are awesome by the way, but like I would love the ability to statically set the GPU number based off of the um, like the serial number and stuff like that, just to like lock these in in some manner. It would be so nice with like adding and removing cards and like your overclock setting shifting and stuff like that. And then especially your flight sheet. Like I got to go to my flight sheet now and I got to make adjustments to my flight sheet because um, I need to go in and make some changes here. So the the RX 580, we are going to mine uh, Ethereum on it. It's an eight gig card. Um, so we're going to mine Ethereum on it. The rest of these are going to do Ravencoin. Uh, so right now we have everything in here. Uh, everything's been looking good. Uh, I have made some tweaks here and there. Uh, this card right here has had some problems recently. Um, some uh, shares, you know, invalid shares every once in a while. So I did lower that down, lower down the corn, lo lower down the memory, bumped up the our, our power here just a little bit. But Let's go ahead and take a look at our flight sheet for this guy. So right now it's only Ravencoin. And so I actually need to edit this. It's running Team Red Miner, which perfect, sounds good. But what I do need to do is tell it what cards to do this on. So uh, I need a comma. Let's see, I need... Uh, okay, so I need a comma between each one. So we're going to do this on not card zero but on card 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, because 0 is our 580, okay? And then what I want to do is I want to add another miner here. We're going to do Ethereum. Alrighty, and then I need to go ahead and pick. Uh, we can do, I guess we'll do Phoenix Miner here. The only thing I have to make sure is with Phoenix Miner. Okay, cool. So we're going to say AMD cards only. Okay. And then we're also going to say GPU zero. So then that's going to sit directly with the 580 um, for this here. And I'll apply that. Um, I guess I can d update this. Let's do Ethereum. And let's update, update all my workers. And let's go ahead and get this all applied. And we'll be back in just a sec. Alrighty, guys. So um, we did have to make a slight change, but we are off to the races. Granted, our RX 580 is not overclocked yet, um, but you can see it's doing 27.78 mega hash on Ethereum. And then we have all of our um, 470s. So I did have to swap up on my flight sheet. I did swap over to uh, ETH miner. It had some weird issues with Phoenix miner there. Uh, it, it wasn't grabbing the, the card appropriately. Not sure if my config was wrong in my miner, but now we're good to go. Um, I, I always love that if you swap over to a uh, Hive uh, shell that it, it says zero, which like this is so confusing. So within Hive OS, it says one through 12 for the 470s and the 570. But yet when you get into the minor, it says zero through 11. Like it's like, oh my gosh, talk about like uh, the config does not line up the way you want. Uh, but then if I go ahead and jump over to ETH minor, it goes ahead and shows my card here uh, and uh, shows that we are mining. So let me go ahead and get some overclock settings in here and see what we can get out of this Sapphire Pulse. Alrighty, guys. So we are good to go. Um, I went ahead and applied some overclock settings for our RX 580 Sapphire Pulse. Uh, we're about 11.50 on our core clock. 
Core State, of course, is one. Uh, this is what you run here. Runs phenomenal with RX cards. Uh, we're running 875 currently right now. I could play with that a little bit, maybe take it down to 850, maybe even 825. We'll have to see. Um, in addition to that, our memory clock is 2150. Our mem state is a one, especially with the RX cards. Um, and then uh, our fan, we're running 85. And uh, we're doing the aggressive overclock setting as well as you guys definitely need to check this out when you're running with your AMD cards. If you hover over top of here, the I information tab, depending on what memory you have determines which uh, reference you go with. So this one uh, has Micron. So you're going to go ahead with a reference of 30. So that puts us at 30.78 mega hash on Ethereum. And then as well as whatever that comes to 160 mega hash on Kapow uh, Ravencoin right now with our remaining other 12 cards. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys, on our Sapphire Pulse. I'm so excited to get this card back up and running. If you guys are interested in GPU repair and you want to talk more about it, um, the individual that reviewed my three cards, now I paid to have them all shipped to him. Um, you know, it was kind of a one-off type of situation, but if you're interested in talking about GPU repair, um, in my Discord, I'll put a link down below, there is a dedicated broken GPU repair channel. Stop in there, chat, maybe you'll find one of these GPU repair individuals that I've worked with, um, and... Uh, they're not ready to give out their name publicly and open the floodgates, but I'm just going to say stop in the Discord and, and take a look, uh, and maybe they can help you guys out. Um, I'm one for three. Two of the card, two out of the three cards that I purchased were broken. Like I knew they were broken when I bought them, and the third card uh, went when I was using it. So, anyways, guys, that'll do it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and click the thumbs up button. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.